This is the first of hopefully many different weekly videos where I showcase the different vintage microphones that I sell every week on my website. So I run a business called Colpix Vintage where I sell restored vintage microphones every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Central. Now I've been doing this for three years, so it can be a little hard grabbing the mics because there's a lot of competition. But at the end of the week, there are different restored vintage microphones going to new studios all around the world. And that's my goal. So with every microphone I sell, I make a different sample. And I put those samples on SoundCloud and my Instagram stories and don't do anything else with them. So I realized I could be putting these together in videos and giving you a different way to listen and watch these different mics in action. This week I had for sale this AKG D12 on Monday night, these Bayer M610 Dynamics on Wednesday night, and these AKG D190 ES's on Friday night. So I'm going to go through, I'll say a little bit about each mic, and then I'll let you hear the samples that I have. Monday night's mic was the D12, which I have right here. And you almost always see these used on kick, but they were actually originally made for vocal use, which is kind of funny when you think about it these days. But I only sell these when they have their full low end. They sound great. They can handle high SPL sources. And you're going to hear this one soloed on the kick and then in context with the whole kit. Wednesday's mics were these Bayer M610s, which you don't see that often, um, but they drew my attention because they look like an early M260 with a flat grill on top, but they're really large diaphragm dynamics, really large diaphragm for a dynamic. They have this MS switch on the bottom, and I honestly really love the way this one sounds on acoustic. <laughs> The last mic for this week was these AKG D190ES's, which the Switch version is a little bit more rare, but these are pretty common. And for how affordable they are, I sell them for 75 bucks. They are a great utility dynamic to have around the studio. You have nice high end, pretty solid low end. Um, they don't sound like a D19, but for 75 bucks, these are a great buy.
that's the end of the first of these weekly videos, which I will hopefully be consistent with in posting every single week. Aside from that, if you're looking to purchase vintage microphones like these, I sell them on my website at colpixvintage.com every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8 p.m. Central. I do all the restoration work myself. All week long, I'm doing repairs for studios. So if you ever have a question, reach out. And hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for checking it out.